In today's adventure, I'll be showing you how to replace a damaged sleeve on an 18650 battery and make it look brand new again. So let's jump right into it. Welcome to this week's adventure where we will be replacing a wrap or the sleeve on an 18650 battery. I have a lot of these 18650 batteries um, and something I've never really thought about in the past was replacing the sleeve. As the sleeves have worn out, I've just bought new batteries. I uh, never really thought about actually just replacing the sleeve on it and continuing to use the battery. Um, so in this video that's what we're going to be doing so as you can see i'm starting with a battery that um the sleeve at the end on the negative terminal was a little um ripped and uh torn so what i'm going to do is i'm going to completely remove it and wipe off the battery and insert it into a new sleeve and then heat shrink it down to um when it actually fits this may be a little overkill, but something that I like to do um, is just to make sure there's no condensation, moisture, um, oils, anything like that. I just want to make sure that it's already been removed uh, before I put it in the sleeve. So something that I did off camera is I actually wrote on the battery sleeve so that way I know what everything is. Um, and I, that's something I definitely recommend, especially if you have batteries that have different voltage outputs. Um, so that way you're not inputting two batteries into a device that have different outputs. Uh, and then it puts a lot of pressure on the actual uh, board or smart chip in your device to regulate and make sure that those voltage outputs are the same. Um, just makes it a little easier helps prevent some issues so now that I insert the battery into the sleeve I'm just going to line it up to where I get a small lip at both ends once I get a small lip at both ends I'm gonna pinch it and hold it then warm it up with the heat gun on this battery I will not be replacing the top insulator ring the other one is still on it so there's no need for me to replace this one some of the other batteries I will need to replace uh, the top insulator ring and it's pretty neat that the kit that I bought came with those as well as the sleeve so um, we'll get to those in a second so the kit that I'm using here I actually just got off Amazon uh, super great kit comes with the sleeves the sleeves seem really durable I, I've actually been using these sleeves for going on going on a month now uh, if not a little bit longer and they've all worked absolutely great and so something that you will also notice me doing is I'm holding the battery in my hand and I'm blowing the heat gun at my hand the purpose for that is I want to know exactly how hot this battery is getting. Uh, I don't want to be blowing a lot of heat on this battery and cause some type of reaction with the battery just getting extra hot. So the reason for me holding it in my hand is so if my hand's starting to get hot, that means I need to move it away from the battery. All right, so here we are uh, working on another one here. Um, and the reason, so the reason I have the scale out is I believe this battery is actually a fake battery. I believe it's a fake Samsung battery. Um, so I was actually trying to weigh it and see if it is the same weight as the um, Samsung batteries. And 
I don't it from what I found online it's showing a different weight than the Samsung batteries that come from the Samsung factory so I believe this is a counterfeit battery uh, but nonetheless it, it is a working battery so I'm just not gonna wrap it back in green I'm gonna wrap it in purple so that way I know that um, it's it's a fake Samsung battery and not a, a, a real Samsung battery so same thing with this one I'm just gonna wipe off all of the condensation moisture any if there's anything on it I'm just gonna wipe it off all right um, this is the uh, terminal protector up top that I was re referring to a second ago I'm gonna stick that on the top uh, to replace the one that came on the battery that came off as the the sleeve got worn and torn so after we get that put on I'm gonna insert the battery in same as we did before and make sure that I get a small uh, little overhang or a small lip on both sides just like that on a little overhang on both sides so that way when when I heat shrink it um, and, and something that I do as I'm heat shrinking it is I'm holding this I'm, I'm, I'm pinching it and holding it so that way it doesn't pull from the top and then I'm hitting both the top and the bottom and trying to seal those in and then I'll go through the middle and heat shrink the middle but the top and the bottom I hit first so that way the top um, forms to the top and then the bottom uh, heat shrinks and forms to the bottom and then I shrink the middle and make it look nice and uniform. So if you notice, uh, like I said, the reason I'm spraying it or aiming the heat gun at my hand, holding it in my hand so that way I can feel it as it gets hot so you see me putting the heat on it and then I'll move it off because uh, my hands getting hot uh, same thing with the battery good as new So this is one that's in a little bit worse shape. Uh, it's got nicks on the side. It's torn at the bottom. Uh, same thing as before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write the uh, specifications of what the battery is, or at least what it says on the sticker here. I think this is a fake Samsung battery like the other one. Again, that's why I'm doing this one in purple and not green. Um, so that way I can know exactly this is a fake one and that's okay as long as it works I'm okay with it I just want to know that um, when when two batteries are the same battery or you know uh, like I said before you don't want to put two batteries in a device that have different voltage outputs um, it could lead to some issues within the board of your device uh, depending on what device you're inputting these batteries into So now that the battery has been wiped clean, I am going to put the insulator ring on the top. And that just sticks right on. Uh, it's pretty much just like a small sticker. It just gives a layer, a buffer layer of protection. So it prevents the battery from shorting out. There were several kits that didn't have these insulator rings, but I wanted to be sure to get a kit that had these insulator rings. So after we get the insulator ring on the top, put the sleeve over top of the battery and get a small overhang on both sides. And then I'm going to heat shrink the top and the bottom and then the middle later. So we're going to make sure to get this all lined up. And none of this is hard. I, I'm going to be tr very truthful about this. None of this is, is hard at all. Uh, it's just a little tedious. So as you see there, uh, I got the bottom first. Then I'm going to flip it over. Uh, keep it pinched. Then I'm going to heat shrink the top. 
and then work my way down the sides. And this works the absolute best in my opinion. Uh, when you heat shrink one side and then push it down and give it a little bit of pressure, uh, then heat shrink the top, it really holds it in there nice and tight. And then uh, heat shrinking the sides really makes it look nice and uniform. Because essentially all this is, is a heat shrink type of rubber plastic tubing um, that we're just using as a shield. We're just putting it around the battery just to give it some insulation. Once I finish heat shrinking the tubing here, these three batteries will be ready to be put into a device and we won't have to worry about it shorting out or uh, the side touching something within the device and sparking or something like that. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, uh, be sure to click like, comment, or subscribe. It really helps the channel with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next adventure.